Hi, thanks for checking out our channel. Um, this is going to be a uh, testing video showing a Gallagher M4000 uh, fence energizer. Um, this is a 220 to 240 volt unit. Um, it, I think it's 37 stored joules, so it packs quite a punch. Um, this is a, an earlier version. I think the later versions of this model was a black case, but this is a red case unit. Um, but this is made back in the uh, all throughout the 1980s and probably early 2000s, maybe up to the early 2000s, maybe like 2001 or two. But the last year that they made this model, it was one of the biggest ones that Gallagher had come out with for uh, back in the day. Um, so, but uh, so hopefully you like this video and this is just uh, like I said just a short testing video of how this thing works and I'll show you the inside of it and what it looks like and everything um, but we got it going again there's not a whole lot of parts for these units anymore at least this generation anyways um, but we re repaired the board uh, I mean you can still get capacitors for it uh, we have transformers that will work in it um, but all the boards are long, no longer made so usually if you luck out you usually can repair the boards if you you know you know what you're working on um but so subscribe to our channel uh hit the thumbs up if you like the video and let's just jump into it so it's got um two lenses on the front uh this clear one will light up green uh and this one will flash red with every pulse um if your energizer or is hooked to the fence and everything and your fence gets dragged down pretty hard with a whole lot of fence, a whole lot of grass and dead shorts and problems. Um, this thing can handle quite a bit of load, but you know everything has got its limit. But if, if it's got a dead short somewhere, it's pretty hard and heavy on it, and um, the unit's clicking, but this light's not flashing, then what you'll do is you'll unhook your fence and ground, plug the unit back in. If this light goes to flashing, then then it's going to be your fence has got a problem somewhere. Um, but if it's not flashing it's, and, and it is clicking and that's with or without the fence on or off of it, then and it's still not lighting up this light, then you've got problems inside this unit. Um, but I'm going to power it on here and we'll see what it does. And there's the green light. There we go. So nice steady pulse to it. It does have um, a full power and a half power terminal. The half powers are yellow, so you could run a smaller section of fence or, or um, you know, have less shock on the fence. Most people don't use the half power. They usually use a full power, hook it up, and, and let it run. So that way they get the most voltage on the fence. But this one's putting out 9,000 volts at a 37 stored joule unit capacity. That's um, that thing packs quite a punch, so um, I'll open it up here in a minute. But I'm gonna I want to put a jumper wire across here and show you the the blast of shock this thing throws. Um, I mean, there's bigger ones out there now. I mean, there's 50 joule stored, there's 58 stool joured, uh, um, joule stored by Gallagher. I mean, Speedrite's got some big ones. They had big ones back in this day as well, or I think they did. But uh. For its time, it was a big, big unit. I can barely feel the shot coming through that wire. I don't think in the video, I don't think it does this thing justice. I'll turn it off here. There does hold a residual charge in it, so you got to be careful. That's why that light's still on, even though the power's turned off. God, I'm afraid to grab a hold of something here. Though. I don't know if it's a discharger or not. I'm gonna put this, put this across there. No, it doesn't discharge it. The capacitors have got a charge still on them. That's why that green light's still on. But, but this is what the inside of this thing looks like. It has a couple screws in the bottom, but I'd left them off since I was going to open it up anyways to show people what it looks like. But that's inside of this thing. It has 
six capacitors inside here. They go two here, two there, and two there. And it's got a, a two-stage transformer set up on the inside. There's your two transformers right there. And this board is your, um, I think it's like what I would call a lightning protection board as well. It, it does a voltage divider to uh, load it down for the half power side. Um, but uh, how this thing kind of works in a sense, it actually runs in stages. It actually only uses what it needs. So it may only use one or two or three of the capacitors and then only one transformer, I believe. And as it gets loaded down harder, um, it starts pulling more power from more of the capacitors and then it dumps more power through two transformers. I think that's how it works. Or I may be wrong and use all six capacitors and both transformers out all at once and it throws all the power at once. Um, I don't I think it runs in stages, but I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, that's the board. Like I said, there's a bunch of capacitors. There's two of them sitting right there, but there's six of them all the way across that board there and the two big transformers there. Um, but it's quite a, quite a unit. Like I said, it's a 220, 240-volt unit. So... But uh, they don't make it anymore. They haven't made it since about 2002. So it's been a while since they made this model. Um, but we get them in every once in a while. And luckily, you know, we crossed our fingers and did some rework on the board. And, and luckily, we got the board going again. Um, if we hadn't, this thing, unfortunately, might have been a lost cause. And, you know, to buy a brand new one of this kind of power is quite a bit of money. Um, but luckily, we were able to repair the board and get the customer going again. So, you know, that's what we try to do. We're kind of like um, the way our shop works and how our mentality is. Is kind of we're kind of like old shade tree mechanics. You know, back when people used to work on things out in their garage, out in out in the front front yard, working on stuff, the old stuff. That's how we kind of treat things. I mean, if it's if it's electric fence unit, it I don't care how old it is. You know, if it's 80 years old, belong to your dad or your grandfather or something, um, don't throw it out. You know, always ship it to us and let us take a look at it. Because some of them old ones, um, even though they could be 50, 60 years old, I mean, when they work, they work really, really well. I mean, there is a place for those old ones still today if you have the right kind of setup. I mean, you couldn't, you wouldn't want to put um, one of those old style ones on, say, a thousand acres. Like, this thing is probably rated for. 800 or 1200 acres so this thing packs quite a punch so you wouldn't want to put you know an old style one from the 60s that was rated you know it couldn't handle near that amount it could probably handle you know 100 acres or less i don't know um but you would uh you wouldn't want to put an old style one on like that on a place for where this one's designed to go because it just wouldn't handle the load but this one will go through a lot of vegetation um it will dra get dragged down like anything does but it's got a lot of reserve firepower there to really really hit the unit or hit the fence hard um nice bright green light on there you really can't see it from this angle but it's all lit up ready to go um well hopefully you've enjoyed this video got to learn a little bit about these old ones um and if you ever got one of these or another old gallagher unit um, or, or troubleshooting one or or whatever if you want to hit us up for some questions or whatever you can go to our website which is fencerfixer.com and fencer and fixer is both spelled with an f as in frank and um you can go put comments down below in the box down there and uh go to our website and write us the emails there but if you hit the description tab and pop that down a little bit there's a uh a link there to our website that you can highlight or copy and paste to your browser and search us that way there's also our link to our email address as well on our facebook page but uh we appreciate you checking us out hopefully if you got some questions or need some help on repairs you'll look us up and you know ask questions and send things to us for repair we get free estimates we don't charge you a penny for looking at anything and we give 18-month uh, warranties and everything that we fix, too. 
which is uh, lightning damage is, is, is included as part of our warranty. So um, until we put out another video, we will see you guys later.